Brand new approach to pain relief sounds more like a video game than an actual treatment. CBS 2's John Diaz shows us that by using virtual reality, patients with severe injuries are finding help through a headset. A few minutes of quiet with a VR headset, and 32 year old Blake Hunt is a world away. Although I can't move my legs physically, I can still feel them. So, Blake, I want you to focus on the horizon a little bit and just focus on being present on the beach. He says this virtual reality treatment brings his pain levels down. He's calmed by the water and actually gets a literal kick out of these legs. When movement is happening and you're like visually seeing it, you can feel it in your body. Um, and it's like a very uh, refreshing situation, especially when you haven't moved your legs in years. A traumatic injury left Hunt a quadriplegic. I uh, broke my neck at 17 playing football for my high school. And he says he's been suffering excruciating nerve pain ever since. I feel like I'm being stabbed. Hunt says prescription meds and opioids were doing him more harm than good. So he's being treated with immersive technology, VR therapy at Mount Sinai. We focus on manipulating uh, pain areas located in the brain. Dr. Laura Tabakoff is a rehabilitation doctor working with Hunt. What we are doing is placing users in an environment where they see limbs performing a certain action or activity. For instance, people with um, pain in their arms, they're going to see hands performing a very eliciting activity such as clay work or playing with water. Um, and what that will do is send the brain a positive feedback that will decrease activity in those pain centers in the brain. As for Hunt, he says he's not defined by his limitations. He's socially active and involved in a pro video game league called the Quad Gods. He adds managing his pain without meds allows him to fully experience it all. It makes your nerve pain do different stuff. Um, I know you couldn't see me under the mask, but I was actually smiling at one point. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Wow, you have things you can convince the mind to do, right? Treatments last around 20 minutes, once or twice a week. Dr. Tabakoff says the goal is to ultimately have patients do the treatment at home. Incredible. Wow.